The Lord explains, the Lion of Judah and his sons of service, in the day of the Lord, trumpet call of God. January twenty fourth, two thousand and ten, from Yahushua Hamashiach, he who is called Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for those the Lord is sending. And for all those who have ears to hear, my sons, your time of service is much closer than you think, says the Lord. Yet for others it will seem to tarry, for they are not fully awake. Their eyes remain closed, their ears remain dull of hearing. Yet for you it is coming quickly, for you have asked of me and remain willing. Having loved me above your fellows, seeking always to know me, behold, you shall know me, for I am coming quickly, and in each of you shall I dwell fully. No more shall you beg, no more shall you plead, neither shall you stumble any more. Behold, in that day you shall surely sing, for the fire of my own spirit shall be established within you. And you shall burn bright. With the heat and brilliance of the noonday sun shall you shine for me, for I shall be revealed in you. And as I walked, so shall you walk. As I did, so shall you do likewise. And as I was persecuted, so shall you be hated. Fear not, for as no man prevented me. Nor did one lay a hand upon me, nor were any able to take me by force, nor was any stone able to strike me down, until I gave myself up. So shall it be with you, for I am the Lord, and who can usurp my will? Who can change the times and seasons which I hold within the counsel of my own will? Behold, I have separated you from the world, and behold. I shall send you back into the world, even as I was sent into the world. And as I came from the Father and was sent, so also shall you be sent as one who comes from me. You are sent to shepherd those who are returning to me, and to warn those who are perishing, those who have departed from me. You are sent to heal my sheep injured in the battle. And to rebuke evil, both seen and unseen. Behold, I have given you authority over all who seek to do you harm, for you are my anointed. You shall also shepherd and bless the flock of the slaughter, for this is my will. Yet understand this: as I was sent and suffered, so shall you be sent and suffer. Save this: you are not sent as a sacrifice. For this is finished; it is accomplished. You are sent to endure for my name's sake, to bring in a great harvest, to sound the trumpet in all the earth, preparing my way before me, to abase and to uplift, to curse and to bless, to strike at the nations in my name. You shall lead the remnant. To the place which I have prepared for them, that they may be hidden from the face of him who seeks to devour them. Yes, you shall do all these things, and great men will be made to tremble, and mighty men shall flee from before you. Lo, even strong men will be brought to tears. Behold, kings shall be put in subjection to you, on account of my words which I shall cause you to speak. Yes, you shall do all these things, I in you. I shall accomplish them through you swiftly, and in my name shall they be done, causing my name to resound amongst my people. Yea, it shall resound in all the earth, causing the fear of the Lord to come upon all people. Then, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, all, from the least unto the greatest, will know. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Look up, I am coming quickly. 
Behold, I am already here. I am with my people. Your God and your servant, your refuge and your strength, the love of your hearts. Yahushua is my name. Give me glory, for the time has come, for the Father's hand to be made known, his power manifest. I am come. The Lion of Judah has come forth out of his place to judge and to punish, to refine and to uplift, to break apart and to build, to burn and to restore, to fulfill, to complete. For the day of the Lord has come. Behold, it is at the door. The great day is very near. And behold, the new day is coming quickly when everlasting righteousness shall come in. When the rightful king shall reign, with you, the elect of my heart, entering into my joy and my rest. For I shall be your God, and you shall be my people. Days beyond number, life without end, everlasting praise.